so now uh, what i'll do that uh, this is my machine and now i want to convert this machine into a router means now this is having one interface card eth0 now i have no network over here so i'll just explain the concept behind this then uh, if it is feasible i'll show you demonstration then also uh, see uh, Okay, uh, what can be the basic uh, idea behind this that uh, this is my normal Linux machine, this is also my normal Linux machine. Uh, I have two interfaces cards over here, uh, I will name this card as ETH0 for this machine and ETH1 of this machine. Uh, this IP will be say 192 uh, or Okay, uh, 10.0.0.1. Uh, this will be uh, say ETH uh, 0 for this machine, ETH 1 for this machine, and uh, IP address for this will be means these two routers are in same network. Therefore, uh, their network part uh, should be same. So these two routers can communicate through this interface or this link. Now this uh, ETH1 uh, will be having uh, say its network uh, address. Means here can be network of my company or say anything. Say uh, 192.168.1. Say uh, 1.2 means I am having one machine over here. And uh, similarly here for ETH1. Uh, say 20.0.1 so this is my network and now what uh, I want to do that uh, I have installed means I have zebra over here running I have zebra over here running so uh, what I will do that uh, I will up uh, demons basically the concept is zebra is having various demons for various protocols means for OSPF it is having OSPFD demon for BGP it is having BGPD demon means which protocol I have to use I will up da uh, that demon now say I have to use OSPF uh, protocol in my network so what I will do first I will up my zebra de uh, demon from my console uh, prompt then uh, I'll uh, up my OSPF daemon just type OSPFD and enter and then after that uh, here uh, zebra will be up OSPF will be up similarly here OSPF and zebra will be up now uh, we have to configure these routers for uh, actual working so how, how will uh, we do that uh, there are two ways for doing that thing uh, first one is uh, we can uh, means uh, zebra will be running on port 2601 and uh, this will be zebra and OSPF uh, will be running on port 2604 now what I'll do uh, first option is uh, I'll tell net So for uh, configuring, I'll telnet uh, this this interface card or uh, this one and port number means I'll first configure Zebra. In Zebra configuration, uh, there is much documentation for Zebra. So in uh, Zebra doc uh, documentation, what I uh, in Zebra configuration, what I'll do, uh, I'll just say that uh, it, ETH zero is having IP address 10.0.0.1. And uh, similarly, I'll uh, tell net over here and I'll say that ETH1 is having this IP address. So uh, my Zebra is now configured. Now I have to configure uh, OSPF. Similarly, OSPF has port number 2604. Therefore, I'll tell net first for uh, this interface card and uh, I'll say uh, 2604. Now it, it will give OSPFD command prompt. And over here, I'll say that uh, means there are com various commands like uh, uh, if I'll say if config uh, ETH zero, then it will enter OSPF uh, hyphen if means now it will configure my ETH zero card. And here I'll give uh, another command. 
IP address and IP address for this uh, Ethernet card. Then uh, I have to give my network part. So I will give my network part over here. And uh, one more concept is there in OSPF that uh, we have to give area. Means uh, there are various areas. Means that's more uh, towards OSPF uh, part. Means uh, if all these uh, are in one area, then I'll give same area number. Else I'll give different areas number. So uh, I'll also give over here after network I'll give area 0 or area 1 or say something like that and by uh, giving these commands my OSPF will be up on this router similarly uh, I can uh, do same configuration over here by changing my IP addresses this is a uh, first method by telnetting and doing all that stuff so if you are new means uh, new to uh, routing softwares or you don't know how to configure a router then this option will be a good option and the second option is uh, that you are having configuration file uh, configuration files for uh, these demons means uh, means ospf uh, will be having ospfd.conf then zebra will be having zebra.conf in that configuration file i'll write all these commands means instead of going on uh, telnetting i'll write all these commands uh, in this configuration file and then uh, when i i'll run my daemon by using that configuration file my uh, routers will be up and thus we can means uh, not actually simulate but we can use our normal Linux machine as a router by using such type of uh, routing software.